Let's see if I can get in there. That looks like it could be blood. Look at all these skulls. Oh, that's a baby. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco Travel. So today I am going to a very, very dangerous location. This is the location that I went to when I go to these graveyards at night where I always kind of brag about how extremely dangerous they are. Well, today I'm gonna to be traveling to this location so I can show you a little bit of just a little bit on the outside and then back into the graveyard just for my safety. I could easily be shot, killed, kidnapped you name it this area is very bad my taxi's downstairs i woke up bright and early today i'm not even bringing my watch I, I don't want anything on me besides my gopro and not even my wallet i just realized i'm taking that too but i'm bright and early in the morning it's around eight o'clock and i want to get there early because hopefully choros or bandits aren't going to be awake around that time my taxi should already be outside waiting for me but I literally had to go through like 10 different taxi services because nobody wanted to take me there except for Carlos. Carlos said he was down. So I think I should be good with him. What else? Una pregunta. Yo soy de otro país. De este lugar donde nosotros vamos. ¿Es peligroso en la mañana? Mira, donde que te voy a dejar. O sea, la zona es peligrosa, pues lo que te voy a dejar es en la misma puerta y ahí tú entras. Ah, ok, ok, ok. okay, okay Pero okay. no te recomiendo, o sea, que salgas, caminas por afuera o, o trates de visitar otro lado, así. No, no, no. No sí. te recomiendo. Entras, sí, claro. entras ahí donde que te dejo, entras al museo, visitas todo el museo, me imagino que ahí todo está con seguridad, todo sí, eso, sí, sí, sí. Pero sales. So I just asked to see if it was dangerous for the location that I'm going to and pretty much I'm being recommended do not go anywhere outside of where I drop you off. Don't go into the town, don't go trying to explore further around other areas, just go into the place with the security and then when you're done come back out, do not be around that area. So I finally made it. This graveyard has two parts. I don't ever make it to this part. I've only been here one point, but immediately as soon as I got out of the car, I was instantly getting hustled by like three or four guys that I couldn't even take out my camera to record because I wasn't sure what to go on. Like technically I was already being yelled at, which was uh, a bit chaotic, but this is the Angeles graveyard, but it's right next door to the other graveyard, which I'll be going into in a moment. The very last time I was here, I almost got robbed by a guy trying to grab my camera. In fact, if you don't remember, here's a video clip of it here. Okay. 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 Sí, 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 solamente cogiendo foto. Ya no se puede subir foto. Ah, perdóname, perdóname. No, 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 no. Solamente cogiendo foto con el tumba. No, por favor. Still, this place is quiet. Absolutely nothing. Got some junk here. I can't even see what that, who that is. Fiestas, no. I thought this was probably like a warning or something. That they're probably breaking into tombs. But the cemeteries here are a lot different than Argentina. Ooh, what is that? I don't know what that is, but that looks like it could be blood. That was a gunshot. That was a gunshot. Look at this. That looks like dried up blood. So if you look in the very back there, behind the tombs towards the mountain, you see all these little houses in the back. That is the first guy I seen. Guardo Punto Setico. I think he's like security, kind of watching over the place. somebody else back there too I'm gonna come this way more but look in the back here 
you can see all the houses. Those are like the little burials that go up to the top of the mountain here. Those are areas I do not want to get into because that is extremely dangerous. I hope I could give you guys a better shot, man. I just got to find a better view because where I'm at, I'm like hiding. So I'm literally walking and some guy, I think he was uh, transgendered, was at the top of the wall up there and he was asking me for a ladder. Let's see if I could show it to you. He's hiding or he's not really hiding. He's just standing there on top of one of the walls in the back here. If he asks me if I found a ladder, I'm like, soy buscando, pero no veo nada. <laughs> like I'm looking for a ladder, but I can't find one. Thing is, that's where people live, is right over that wall. This is the wall where I seen the guy just standing there at. It sounds like I can still hear him. That's definitely not him. It was up on the rooftop somewhere. So I just seen one of the security guys on a bike and I just told him like there was some random guy on top of the top of the wall there trying to come down. He's like, I don't know why they want a ladder. They just climb it all the time going up and down. It's the first time the one asked for a ladder. And he's like, did you give it to him? I'm like, no, I didn't give it to him. I don't. I'm definitely not going to give just a random ladder. I guess through here there's a lot of weird mischievous stuff always going on 24-7. Check this out. I don't even know what this is. Looks like somebody's scrunchy or some sort of towel. And then there's newspaper. A lot of the times they'll hide stuff in there. Probably like a dead animal or some sort of offering to the spirits. Thing is not a lot of people come out towards this area. So just here you can see how close the people live right to the graveyard and then right outside. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. You can already see their clothes just right outside and they just dry it. I think there was a naked dude right over there in that one window. But you can see how it's like a whole family. So I was looking for an area where I could get some shade from the sun, and I found this. This is Ricardito. The guy that's literally right across the street is where his tomb is at. And like, of course he's considered a saint, 130 años in el cielo, in the heavens. So he's been passed away for 130 years, and he's been in the heavens. Look at that. Here are some random pictures of the same person a bunch of times, or a bunch of other people. And I think these are people who've been blessed by Ricardito. So as I was recording this, I was given this, a picture of Ricardito. Oh, niño Ricardito, con humildad, fe y devoción, vengo a ti. This is a prayer. This is a prayer for Ricardito. And I think this is his clothes. They put it in here too. It's behind the glass. I think it is. Right now I'm at the front of where I came in and where I was getting hustled by a whole bunch of people. And they're all hanging out right outside here. Start asking you questions and stuff. Well, it wasn't her, I swear. It was like a whole group of guys. I just got my Uber. Let me see if I could get out of here. Because there's not really much for me to check out towards the roadside and it's extremely dangerous here. So let me see if I can find it. His tag is Z7F is what I'm looking for. It's right outside. Buenas que estar. Now if you see the guy with the blue jeans and the green shirt, that's the guy that was all up on my shit, hustling me. Look at these beautiful dogs. All right, I'm gonna try to keep the camera discreet. So it seems to be going into some sort of traffic jam here.
tell he's seen some shit. So I just made it into a little restaurant so I could get some water. I am so thirsty. It's about 97 degrees outside, and there's people everywhere because there's a huge soccer game, and I guess Peru's playing. So everybody has their shirts on and ready for the big game. So it's like Argentina, but in Peru now. So this area here, I've been here before. This is right before they wanted to throw out the president due to corruption. For some reason, they have it all blacked off, so that probably means the president or the new president, which I don't know who it is now, is gonna be kind of going through here. These are American tourists. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Look at this, they even got a stage up there. Yeah, the last time I was here, there was a lady screaming about, my hijo, mi hijo, they killed him or whatever. It was crazy. Look what I found. It's a, a magnificent, cathedral of death but no i think this one actually has catacombs and if there's catacombs then that means there's probably bodies kind of laced through the whole bottom area of this place look at that this is huge i think this is the biggest come i think the two biggest ones that i've seen was here this one and argentina's one was really big I'm trying to see if I could find the access point to getting into the underground tombs. Oh, what is this? I'm just gonna walk down and not say anything. They made me take off my hat too. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. are getting close to the catacombs look down here these are babies like what the hell <laughs> who the hell is that look at this look at all these skulls that's insane solace here for offerings and then these big boxes I don't know what this is for I don't even know what that says I was actually hoping the catacombs would keep on going down and it looked like it did at one point because if you look here no this is a that's definitely a burial site I was thinking there would be something on the floor where it would look like a staircase could just walk through there and go wonder. Here's another skull. I didn't even know that was a skull. Oh, that's a baby. See it? That's a child. You can see the little bones all around it. They decorated it. I don't know if that's supposed to be some sort of saint either. It's even got its teeth. Or it's even got her teeth. Or his it looks like it's decaying too on the side of the skull there. See it? So I think I go into this room here. I feel like I'm in some Illuminati church with the checkered floor and the blue walls. Oh my God, that's somebody's arm. Look at that. I think that's this guy's arm. Don Miracor Protocario Lasso de la Vega, Conde de la Moncolova. It's like a prosthetic arm from this guy that they found. I don't know if that has to be because the president's coming out or what. I guess that's one of the popes in the back. What the hell is going on?
So I just spoke with the priest and he gave me permission to go upstairs. But he said in order for me to go upstairs, he would have to give me a bottle of water. But that would require a kiss and a massage. And I said, nope, I couldn't do that to myself. So I didn't go through with it. Maybe you guys can meet him. He's in here somewhere. So I found the other entrance to the catacombs finally. Oh, I gotta bend down awkwardly in here. There we go. Wow. Look at this. I didn't bring a flashlight on this adventure, guys. I am very, very sorry about that. Look at this. I don't know if those are real skulls or not. So if you look right over here, you can see what looks like a skeleton there. And then right over here is another one. Kind of like hidden in there, except there's a cloth over it. There's some more. I'm literally stepping on glass so you don't step on the actual floor. I guess they're like preserving it. I wonder if they cleaned out the bodies because there's no bodies in any of these tombs here. It's just the catacombs. Okay, right here there's bodies. See the bones there? They're hard to see, but there's definitely bones there. Look how small this hole is. This is like my brother's height. He could fit right in there perfectly. Let's see if I could get in there. Oh, that is a tight fall. Oh my God. There's a huge deep hole in here. Did they clean out and excavate all the bodies? Cause there's not a single body in here. It's just a hole. Look at this. They cut off his head. And that's his head right there in a platter, like a plate. And two angels are holding it. I don't understand why, what's the purpose of the head being cut off? And he's supposed to be a saint. And some more human remains. Right here, look at this. So I just made it to the supermarket. I wanted to see if I could buy some stuff for the house. And I was looking at these cookies here because I was in the mood for some Chips Ahoy. But this is a copyright infringement. Look at that. Not Chips Ahoy, but Chokies. Clásica. I don't know if that's how you say Chips Ahoy in Spanish. It better be, because if it's not. Oh, see, it's right here, Chips Ahoy. Oh, you know what? But why are these $8? And they're like a weird off-brand. I'm gonna try Chokies. See how some Chokies is tonight. So it appears they have some fish. Some nice cut up fish, salmon. It looks like salmon. I'm not sure if it is. Conjanova, Conjinova. Oh my God, this looks so good. This is not a cat. I thought it was a cat. I'm like, no, this is a gooey. And they just sell it in a bag. Oh, oh God, I can't believe I'm holding an animal. And I mean, I'm sure this is normal somewhere. A gooey is like a guinea pig or something. Look at the ears. Wow. Anyway, I wanted to show this to you guys before I go. But oh, that's disgusting. I mean, I'm sure it's normal, but I'm not used to it. <laughs> what do you think? Look at the legs. It looked like it was cute too. Hi, peekaboo. <laughs> Thank you for watching Franco Travels. I'm kidding. Today was a crazy adventure. I'm finally back home. This outro has been like 50 times already that I've already recreated it. This is it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys see something I might have missed or recommendations as to what I should do next? Again, put it down below. I'm currently making my way to getting ready for the trip to the Amazon forest, but I'm just ditching out like one or two videos before I do so. So thank you for watching Franco Travels. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until then, I will see you in the next glorious adventure. Bye guys.